Welcome to another Azure Everyday Session. My name is Joshua Goral, and I'm a senior consultant with Pragmatic Works. Today, our conversation will focus around a simple yet highly critical concept, the importance of strong Azure AD passwords and policies. Strong passwords and policies are important across any application in the system. However, Azure AD has so many integrations and connections from a business perspective, it is particularly important to secure this password. Azure AD allows users to authenticate to the Azure portal, Azure workloads, Office 365, and even, even other cloud and on-premise solutions. You want to ensure that this figurative key to the kingdom is strong and well-protected. It is important to remember that strong security starts with well-informed and well-trained end users. Training your end users is a must. Policy can only take you so far. In a world where a well-placed well question from an undercover social engineer is just as, if not more, detrimental than a brute force attack. We will cover three tips today to help you keep your users protected. First, password length is not the only strengthening factor. Be sure to have your end users mix in some alphanumeric characters, capitalization, special characters, just to mix up and decrease, and decrease the chances of a quick brute force attack. Contrary to popular belief, this doesn't need to be a bad thing for your end users. When you hear the phrase, but I need to remember these passwords, remind them that there are some easy tricks to supplement letters with other characters to increase the complexity while minimizing detriment to memorization. For example, an at symbol for an A, a hash for an H, or a one for an L can be used to easily replace characters in a password to increase security. When it comes to the social engineer, it's important to make sure you can throw them off by strengthening your password in ways other than length. Capitalization is another way to fend off a would-be attack, especially if they're trying to obtain the information via phone. Try to place capitalization in non-obvious areas rather than at the front or the end of your password. Also try to minimize the ability to guess your passwords. Your favorite sports teams, dog name, or hometown are common things to use in passwords and should be avoided. The second tip for strengthening your passwords is to note that unlike the name suggests, Passwords do not need to be just one word. In fact, to increase password length, it is recommended to use a complete sentence as a password. This will greatly increase the number of characters in your password with the one area we didn't focus on earlier while keeping your password, or better yet, passphrase, very memorable. Third and final tip of the day is to be cautious about answering security questions. They can be helpful in a pinch when you forget your password, but think how easy it would be for another party to answer these questions on your behalf. Surely your significant other, sibling, or best friend would, could impersonate you and reset your password, but how about a clever social engineer with the right set of charisma and leading questions? One commonly overlooked area of security questions is, is that they can be completely false. This is one of the few times in life you'll get advised to lie. Completely make something up. Your mother's maiden name, use your brother's middle name. First car, use your dream car. This will help you when confronted with a social engineer. It's much harder to lie in person or over the phone. Either you'll get caught off guard or not realize it's a leading question in the first place. If you lie in your security questions and end up telling the social engineer your first car was a 1994 red sedan, he won't guess the actual security answer of a 2019 sports car. Lastly, let's touch on password policy. While most of the work is in training your users, policy is still vital to the success of strengthen, strengthening your password initiative. A couple of common areas are minimum password lengths, usually eight to 12 characters, complexity requirements like special characters, capitalization, and numbers, and the banning of common passwords. Keep in mind, however, these techniques usually result in password normalization if made too complex. For example, adding one, two, three at the end of the same password. Keep your policies reasonable while training your end users so that they're aware of the risk associated with poor passwords. Also keep in mind that there are other ways to protect your systems without long and complicated passwords such as MFA that greatly reduces the chances of hacking without continuously increasing your password complexity requirements on your end users. Also keep in mind the Microsoft best policy to be a guiding factor for your security staff and check the sources frequently for any updates. Thanks so much for watching this iteration of Azure Everyday. I hope you've taken some, valuable, some value in today's session and can use some of the items today in practice to help your company. Be sure to check out our other videos and contact us if you have any questions about this topic or any other segments in the information below. Have a nice day.